Hello welcome to this video. Today we're looking at picture chart, but instead of the graphic uh, creator that I've reviewed a number of times, I'm going to look at the new video feature. So for those not familiar with picture chart, uh, there's a link in the banner in the top right hand corner which will take you to my guide of creating an infographic with picture chart. You can see I use picture chart a lot for all sorts of different types of content. I've used it to create my app infographics. It's a, I'm, it's a, I'm a big fan. So, um, but as I say, today we're going to focus on the video feature. So, to access the video feature on the tab at the top here, we just choose picture chart video, and then we've got the choice to start a recording ourselves, to upload from a computer, to import from Drive, or to import from Zoom. So, I'm going to hit start recording, and then we've got a choice of what we want to do. So, we could do a record with screen, so we can choose that. Um, and we can say entire screen, a window or a particular tab. So we can choose what we want to do and it'll give you a preview there. Now, obviously I'm using a screen recorder already, so it's going to confuse if we do that. So let's just cancel that for the moment and let's step back. So it's giving us just the video. So we can see up here, we can choose what, what it's recording. So whether it's a camera, uh, which device it's recording from and which mi uh, microphone it's using. So having got that ready, we can hit record and it's giving us a countdown at the bottom and we've got the preview function there. So we can do our video. Welcome to this video. Today we're looking at picture chart video and I'm recording it for you. Um, I've also got my Lego collection here and here. You can see that behind me. So you, anyway, you could talk through your video as you want. So imagine I finished my little video piece. I can hit on the screen and that will pause it. I can then say preview and it will allow me to preview what I've just recorded. And it's giving us a countdown at the bottom and we've got the preview function there. So we can do our video. Welcome to this video. Today we're looking at picture chart video and I'm recording it for you. Um, so if I'm happy with that, I can press use video. Or I could press record again. So I'll use video and state the language. So in this case, it's English, but just to show you, you've got a whole range of different languages there. I'll press select. And it's gonna take a couple of minutes to upload the video. Obviously the length of the video will determine how long it takes to upload. And then it'll just take a moment to render it. And again, obviously the length of video will determine how long it takes to render. And you can see at the top, I've now used one minute of my 90 minutes allocation. So there we are. We've It's picked out all of the transcript. So it's got my transcript there. So I've got my credits. I can add my title. I can decide whether I want to add a watermark. I can upload an image to do that. Default, I can change the ratio if I wish. So I can change the ratio and that could be quite useful. Uh, maybe doing something on TikTok, um, you can change it to a different video or Instagram, and we'll go with default. And then having done that, we can also click in here, and you can see we've got some mistakes there, and we could go in and correct those mistakes. I'm just gonna change picture chart to capital. So you can go through and edit your transcript. I'm using Grammarly, which is why you're seeing that appearing there. We go further down the menu on the left hand side, we can choose templates and it will show us a whole range of templates and we can choose the particular template we want to use. As you can see, there's a whole raft of different templates. So let's go with, let's go with this one. And then we can add our title in there. We can also, if we select the text, we can change the font type and you've got access to all of the font types that are available within picture chart. We can also alter the size and we can alter the formatting as well. If we go, we can get rid of the background or we can include the background in there. So we can choose a different background to our, our text. So we can add a, a background text, a background color to our text, our title or we can just have no background. So there we are, we've got the title in place. 
go further down, we can alter the text style. So we can make it maybe a blue text on the, on the background or a particular style. And we can choose whether we want captions on or off. For me, I think captions are really useful. Uh, certainly within the UK now, uh, any educational resources we create have to have subtitles. So it's really important. Uh, and this adds that um, opportunity to provide captions and make sure that your content is accessible. And then the final thing you've got the option to do is to upload an intro and an outro video. So if you watch my video, my last video, um, you could create your outro video on there and then upload it to this. So anyway, when you're finished, you can go to export video and export, go to clips and your video will appear there. So your video will appear there. And when you go to clips, you see it's still rendering at the moment, but, uh, when you've finished, you'll be able to access that video and you'll be able to share that video. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, that's my quick guide to using picture chart video. I think for creating educational resources that are um, easy to use and have subtitles, I think it's a great way of doing it. I could see it really easy way to add subtitles to your video, uh, make sure that it's uh, accessible to all your users. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.